Okay, less yalk, more reading. <laughs> everyone my name is Claire welcome back to my channel thank you for being here today it is the start of a new weekly reading vlog I've literally just filmed a clip to end last week's vlog and it ended up being half an hour long because I was talking for all the books that I bought at Yelp but what I need to do this week is read because good god am I behind on my TBR for July so I think actually I didn't update at the end of that vlog last week on where I was at with reading because I have now actually finished a book the one book I finished for July and it is the 11th of July. This is not like me, but various reasons. Basically, I was away both the first and second weekend of July and then in between was just stressed with like packing everything, making sure everything was organised. So I've just not read very much. And what I have read hasn't even been on my TBR. I've listened to the audiobook of the first Bridgerton book. I enjoyed it for what it was. I think the rest of the series is going to be a lot better because I enjoyed the fun sort of Regency romance side of it. There's bits to do with Daphne and Simon's storyline that aren't my favourite, but I think the some of the other characters are more exciting. The one of the things I don't like about it, but I knew this going in, I did but I did know this going into it, is that while the TV show kind of shows you everyone's storylines all at the same time, the books are told from are very much told from one person's point of view and you only see the other characters if they interact with them. So you will see people interact with Daphne and with Simon. But other than that, you won't see them. So, like, Penelope's been briefly mentioned in it, but you know nothing of the Featherington family, really, at the minute, because they're not important to, the, to Daphne and Simon's storyline. And the same with, like... And even, even with, like, the Bridgerton family members, like, you've seen Anthony and Colin a fair amount. Benedict has been in it briefly, but then Eloise and all the younger ones barely seen at all i think because i think as everyone gets older and as people have already had their stories as well i think you'll see a bit more of them so i'm hoping it gets better as it goes in i have heard it does so i'm and i'm, and I'm particularly excited for the next one because because i love the couple in the next one so i'm like from the tv show i love the couple in the next one so i'm very excited to see where it goes i'm not going to pick up the second one straight away though i have started a new audiobook i have started i can't think of the name I literally, I learned what the name was earlier. Is it Fool's Quest? Assassin's Fool. Fool's Assassin. Something is the first one. Me and Lisa were doing this last night. We were just putting like Assassin, Fool, Quest, Fate in every order we could do to figure out which one it was. It's the first book in the final trilogy of the realm of the elderlings it is the first book in the fits and the full trilogy i can't remember what it's called but i have started listening to the audiobook i'm only like two chapters in but i'm back with fits and i love it um it sort of jumped straight into a storyline which is good as well like because we already know fits so well there's not too much preamble that needs to go on but i am enjoying it so far we will see how it goes i am still reading the book that is somewhere around here I've just done my out call, so like, have, so everything's all over the place. But I've just, but I'm still reading the Falling in Love montage. I actually got this one signed at the weekend, and I'm enjoying it so far. I'm still only fifty pages in though. So, what I'm gonna do now is go and cook some food, and get back to reading that. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say today. I am tired, but also I'm kind of like on a high from like the fun of spending time with people. I think. Once I've slept tonight, I might actually become more of a hermit. I think I'm still on the high from it now, but I think I'm just going to, like, crash a little bit, which is not great when I have to go back to work tomorrow. But we'll see. I have the house to myself for a few days because my mum and dad have gone away until Thursday. So that could be a good thing. I just get to decompress a little bit. And, yeah, we'll see what happens. I have some TV shows that I want to watch. So nobody tell Becca, but I might start watching Strange Things Season 4. Right, I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hello. It is now Wednesday. I forgot to update it yesterday, which is weird because I was in the house by myself doing absolutely nothing other than editing last week's vlog, which has just gone up. It is an hour long, an hour long yalk vlog. But I had the best time and I just wanted to document it. I just realised that my makeup looks really weird because I've had sunglasses on on my way home. Let's try and fix that a little bit let's just ignore the really like awful foundation that's going on here hi i just got home from work and what didn't i update you on yesterday i've realized that when i told you i'd finished the bridgeton book the other day i never actually told you how many stars i'd given it it was a free start it was okay but nothing spectacular i am as i said excited to carry on with the series and hopefully it'll get better from there i've not read any more 
of my um physical read which is falling in love montage i do really want to read it i've enjoyed what i've read so far but i'm just not in the mood to read that book at the minute which is irritating as hell because it is on my tbr mash tbr i'm just gonna admit right now that i'm definitely gonna have to take a punishment for tbr mash because i have still got left to read the falling in love montage not not like it's a problem so two like ya contemporaries Red, White and Royal Blue, which is a reread, which I can definitely do. I think that might be what I end up picking up instead to kind of as a palette cleanser because I can always get through that really quickly. I also have Crescent City, which I'm definitely going to start next week. If I don't start it next week, I will put it off. So I'm going to start that on Monday regardless. And then Crave, which I want to read the week after. So I don't quite know if I don't, with those Kira Smith ones, I don't really know where they're going to fit in. Because the other thing as well that I really want to read is I just got the arc from the Aurora of Kong book. I'm slowly becoming obsessed with this author. Like, as I mentioned, either in last week's vlog or this week's vlog, I'm going to go and meet her at the end of August. And I'm so excited about it. And I've just got the Ark of Yellowface, which comes out next year, which is a first like literary fiction one. The other ones have been like fantasy. This one isn't. And I'm so excited for it. So I want to drop my entire TBR and read that immediately. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to use it as like an incentive to read Crescent City or House of Earth and Blood. Blood, is that the right one? House of Sky and Breath for the second, Earth and Blood for the first. That's it. So I'm going to use it as a motivation to read that and crave and then I can pick up yellow face afterwards. And also, actually, I have been reading, although I've not been reading my physical book, I have listened to my audiobook because well, my headphones are in at the minute. I'm listening to Fool's Assassin. I've figured out what the actual title is now. And oh my god, I'm loving this book so far. Like, I know that I prefer Fitz anyway, so I always know that I prefer the Fitz trilogies. But, like, the way I've just got into this one straight away, and although, like, it, it's weird, like, things are happening, but it's more, like, slice of life type things that are happening. It's not, like, some big, crazy, fantastical plot at the minute. It's home life with some characters, or I can't tell you who they are because I'll spoil things, but it's home life stuff that's happening at the minute and i'm really enjoying it which is strange actually because i don't like one half of this particular couple we're following right now but i'm actually really enjoying the storyline and i'd heard that there was a second perspective in this book and at where i'm at the audiobook it has literally just started i still haven't had it confirmed who it is because i literally heard the first sentence and then turned it off but i have a feeling who it is and it is not who i expected it to be going in in all fairness i didn't know this character really existed going into it so it is yeah very much a shock and i think it could be really really interesting so i am so like here for it with this book right now i have like nine hours left of the audiobook when i'm listening to it on double speed but if i get the actual book out tonight after i've done my to-do list because i've got like things i need to do in the house but after i've done my to-do list tonight i should be able to get the actual book out and then i should be able to bump it up a little bit as well it's scribed so it does mean that it goes from double to triple speed but I'm fine with that when I'm actually reading along with it. So hopefully I should be able to finish it. If not tomorrow, then Friday. Which will give me the weekend then to read probably Red, White and Royal Blue. Or finish the Fallen Love montage. I haven't, I still haven't completely decided. But yeah, I'm so excited. This is feeling more like five star again. Whereas all of the Rainwild Chronicles were four star. So I'm, 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 I'm very happy with this. Oh, also because speaking of rf kong familiar i really really want to tab babel i've never tapped a book before but i really want to I, I, it's just like it's one of those books that's making me want to do it i know meg from 12 books a day is feeling exactly the same she's done the similar thing to what i've done she went to paper chase on her lunch break the other day and bought loads of stationary stuff to do it i order things from amazon but these are these sort of see-through sticky labels as well so i can actually put like post-its in i know they don't look see-through but i've checked them against paper and they, they are which is good so i can like annotate it as well and i'm very here for that so that's probably going to be august plans because i want to do that before i take it to go and get signed because i'm going to do it in my standard copy that i own now um and i'm going to go and get, get that one signed because all my other ones i own or will own are going to be pre-signed anyway so my standard one's going to be all tabbed and annotated when i take it to go and get signed right i think that's pretty much everything i need to actually go and 
do my to-do list basically my parents have been away they went away on Sunday and I got back on Monday so I've had the house to myself I haven't been in the house that much so I haven't like made too much of a mess but I still just want to make sure everything is like put away and tidy especially like I've done some washing from the weekend and it's still sort of piled up and I just need to like actually make that final effort to put it all away so I'm gonna go and do all that tonight and I should probably actually cook for myself as well because I have not been eating the healthiest right I'm gonna stop telling you what I'm gonna do and actually just go and do it instead hello sorry that you can probably hear my fan in the background it is too warm to turn it off update on to-do list because I know you're all like hanging on the edge of your seats wanting to know if I finish everything that I needed to do today I did uh, it's about like 10 past 11 now I'm just getting into bed I haven't really stopped all evening but also like it hasn't been too hectic I've just been doing things at a slow pace but I have done everything and I did start off doing it all whilst I was listening to my audiobook so I was making decent progress I figured out that I'm nearly 300 pages into False Assassin now and I am still loving this book so much it's possibly my favorite Fitz book so far because so far like I'm just enjoying all of it but anyway I was listening to that and then my airpods started running out of battery so I'm like okay I'll just charge them for a little bit and then I'll come back to it I'll put some music on because I can listen to music like not through my headphones but I can't pay attention to an audiobook if I've just got it playing and also moving around so wouldn't necessarily be in the same room as it so anyway so I was like okay so I'll come back to the audiobook in a bit and then I put some musical <laughs> soundtracks on and got very distracted and did not come back to my audiobook. But shout out to Meg because I asked her to, I was sort of, I'd got to the point where I was just done and I sort of laid on my bed in front of the fan for a minute when I'd come upstairs. And I was like, give me a musical that will give me motivation to finish because I needed to unpack like the last bits of my suitcase like I'd taken all the clothes out but but it was all like the leaflets and stuff that they'd given us at Yalk and then just odd bits and pieces they needed unpacking and so I was like just give me something that will motivate me to do this and she said I was like a classic for tidying and she did recommend like fairly modern Millie and anything goes but that is not my style of classics so I asked her if singing in the rain or funny girl would work and she said yes so I put funny girl on and you know what Barbara Streisand give me the energy I needed to get through that so thank you to Meg and thank you to Barbara on that note I'm clearly a bit delirious so I am going to probably not sleep because I'm not that tired yet but I'm gonna just like get in bed and if I fall asleep I fall asleep if I don't then maybe you'll get a 2am update when I can't sleep because why the hell not we'll, we'll see how it goes so apparently we're just doing updates every other day this week hello it is Friday I didn't update yesterday I didn't really have too much to update you guys on to be honest I am reading kind of I'm listening to the audiobook still of Assassins Fool's Assassin I keep remembering the name then forgetting it Fool's Assassin and I'm really really enjoying it I've got like three and a half hours left of the audiobook now on double speed I know I said I was going to try and finish it today but I probably won't because I was spending the evening with my mum but should be tomorrow now and yeah I am still sort of recuperating from the weekend which sounds like a lot considering it's now Friday but I've realised I haven't been that sociable in like two and a half years and it's taken a lot out of me like I'm an introvert I need to I draw my energy in from a long time so yeah as much as I had an amazing time I'm very happy that I've sort of relaxed this week well after work obviously but work is now finished for the week I am not in it's not my Saturday to work so good times tomorrow I was supposed to be going out with my mum but I don't know if that's happening now I was going to go to the cinema to see the Elvis film but the longer it's been out the less I want to see it so we'll see it's probably not going to happen but like I said I am hoping that I'll finish reading this one I am hoping that I will read some of the Fall in Love montage as well because I really want to finish that this weekend and then maybe do my reread of Red, White and Royal Blue so that I'm kind of doing some more on my TBR and then we start Crescent City next week which is fun times in book news of other big books that don't terrify me these are well this one's actually just making me very sad I um I don't know if I mentioned that I ordered the last two books in the realm of the elderling because I needed the next one after Fool's Assassin which is this one which is Fool's Quest I needed this one but I like to always have the next one ready 
and I thought well you know what there's only one more left after that and they were both like eight pounds on Amazon whereas they're ten pounds each in shops so it's on like a four pound saving total but better than nothing so I also picked up Assassin's Fate which is like really upsetting because like even the name of this one sounds really final like I know they're all like Assassin's something or whatever and there's been Fool's Fate before and all this but like the fact that it's about Fitz who is the assassin and it's called Assassin's Fate I'm just like Ugh. I'm not prepared for what's gonna happen I have an idea of like I just have a idea of how they're gonna have to wrap up this story because I mean there's only so much they can do if it's gonna be like the final one in it but even if I expect that going into it, I am not prepared for it. But also, I just want to say, I think this is my favourite cover of all of them, because look at that foiling. I love that they've gone out in the foiling for the last ones in the series. Right, I'm going to get changed, and then I'm going to go and sit downstairs and read for a little bit. I will probably update you in the morning. <laughs> Hello, it is time for the Saturday update where once again I say I've not read very much. I don't even know what I've done today. I edited a video, I uploaded the video, spent some time with my dog because I feel like I haven't seen him very much since I've been away because I got home and he wasn't here. So you'll have seen a clip earlier of him eating a homemade ice lolly thing which is literally just water with fruit in it but it keeps him calm and he seemed to love it and he's looking at me now going Chloe why are you talking I'm trying to sleep that's the snoring noise as you can hear in the background as always I have not actually read much since the last spoke to you because I am just not on my reading game at the minute but I have finally finally actually picked up physical read Again, oh, the Falling Love Montage. When I say I picked it up, I've read like 20 pages so far, but I'm hoping to read a little bit more tonight. Uh, that is why I thought I would film this clip to hold me accountable. Not that it's worked so far this week, but we will see. This is going to be like a fairly short vlog just of me going, I haven't read. I'm very sorry. I mean, I'm fair amount into Fool's Assassin, and that is a trunker of a book, so I'm doing okay, but I'm also not because my tbr so far this month so we're, so we're on like the 16th for the month so far and i have not read a single book that is off of my tbr mash tbr so i've basically got 15 days left to read like seven books i think it is and some of those i'm a little bit more intimidated by so it's it's going to be a nightmare but i mean this one i'm reading now is off of that tbr i've said this probably already in this video but i just need to keep panicking myself otherwise i'm not gonna read it's um I don't know if it's just sort of like the aftermath of like Yalk and then obviously I was busy the two weekends before as well so this is the first sort of real day that I've had to just crash since like then because I've been away every weekend and then I've been working every day so yeah this is the first sort of crashing time I've had I am on sprints tomorrow with Becca so I'm hoping that that'll hold me accountable as well because I do need to film something but I also really need to read so I'm hoping that sprints will help with that we will see nothing else to update you on at the minute hello it is sunday morning i never updated you yesterday evening but i do have reading updates i have finally actually read something last night i ended up staying up till like 2 30 i just wasn't tired and i suddenly got in the mood to read so i stayed up and i think i got up to page like 200 and something of this book and i've just finished it i'm on becca's prints at the minute and i've just finished reading it i think i'm giving it four stars purely because it did take me a little bit of time to get into it i know i was obviously in a little bit of a reading slump but also the actual setup of the idea of the falling in love montage didn't really come into it until like 100 pages in which just feels like a while to actually get to the setup especially for like a ya romance although i will say this book had much sort of heavier themes than i expected it to from the synopsis on the back it's just about this girl who is kind of getting over an ex and it does mention that she's got um a pain of her mum's illness and she is kind of not wanting to get into a serious relationship but then she meets this girl who is obsessed with rom-coms and basically they decide to have the falling gun love montage of a film without sort of having the inevitable like break up and grand gesture that happens at the end where they like properly get together they want to just have the happy part in the middle and they know that there is an expiration date on this because they are basically one of the girls Ruby is visiting island for the summer and Saoirse the main character is 
leaving to go to university as well so they're supposed to just have this happy summer romance but there's a lot more to it because the whole storyline of her mum's illness is a lot more prevalent than because it's just one passing line in the back of the thing it just says literally dealing with the pain of her mum's illness is all it says in the synopsis and that's a much bigger part of the storyline it I would say that it's probably actually less of a romance and more focusing on Saoirse dealing with that aspect of her life more than anything else and I did really enjoy it like I said it just took me a little bit of time to get into it it's the only reason it's not a five star but happy that I enjoyed it because I got this one signed at Yelk so justifies me taking it to get it signed I will be reading Kira Smith's other book not my problem hopefully at some point this month so obviously as I've said many times probably on this vlog I'm quite behind on my TBR I have now actually read one book off my TBR though but I still have I keep saying the list of books I've got to read and keep forgetting two of them so I still have got Craven Crescent Zitter I still have got The Intimacy Experiment by Rosie Dan and that's one of the ones I keep forgetting to mention and Legends and Lattes that's another one I keep forgetting to mention I also have still got Red White and Royal Blue and then there is something else I'm sure there is actually no that could be it but I am also still also but I'm also still like needing to finish Full Assassin but I do think I'm gonna finish this today because I have four hours left in the audiobook at double speed but I'm gonna sit and actually read along with it which means I can crank it up to triple speed and that means that it should only take me like two and a half hours I think so fingers crossed I can finish this if not on the end of Becca's Rinse today I will finish it this evening so so I'm hoping for is to get both of those done today. I may also start reading one of the lighter reads. So either my reread of Red, White and Royal Blue or I'll be starting my read of the Intimacy Experiment because both of these ones are lighter ones that I can sort of have on, that I can sort of read when I'm not paying attention too much. And then I will be starting tomorrow for next week's vlog because it's not going to be, because it's not going to be in this vlog, it'll be in next week's vlog. The plan is to read this in its entirety next week so come and join me for that but yeah i definitely wanted to finish those two today before i moved on to this next week and i think because i am suddenly getting back into my reading i don't want to sort of just stop today when i finish those two and then i, I want to kind of i want to get as much reading done as physically possible today to really get myself into it so that's why I think I'm going to pick up one of those lighter ones and get started on that because I can still be reading that alongside reading this so this one I'm just going to sort of read in chunks the writing is very small in this but yeah we'll talk about this one more next week but for now we're going to move on to Fool's Assassin I have 13 minutes left of this sprint though so I have to leave it for now I'm going to go and get food <laughs> Hello, this is going to be a quick update. You just have to put up with the van in the background because it is Sunday evening and I thought I should probably wrap up this vlog. I finished another book since I last spoke to you. I finished reading Falls Assassin. I gave it five stars. I'm very happy to be back with Fitz. It's possibly my favourite Fitz book that I've read so far. Like, it was just everything about it kept me captivated, which is weird because I felt like the story was a bit slower. But everyone's Fitz books are always slow. But, like, no like big major catastrophes and fights happened but it was a lot of setup but because i'm so invested i just loved everything about it there's also like a new character that's been brought into it that i really like there's some old characters that maybe aren't in it as much as i expect them to be which is a good thing because i don't particularly like them and yeah it's it was just a very good read five stars definitely i then decided not to read anything for the rest of the evening and I started watching Strange Things season 4. Um, I know I said earlier in this vlog, don't tell Becca. Becca is already aware. I have been messaging her. I, I was and I watched those first scene I was like, yep, yeah, I understand this now. And yeah, I'm two episodes in. I'm giving up for the night though because they're all like an hour long each and I just don't think I'm going to concentrate for another hour. It's like 11pm. So yeah, I'll try and watch them all tomorrow. I'm working from home for the next two days because of the heat. Our office has decided to tell us to not travel. So that means, I mean, obviously I will actually be working when I'm working from home, but it means that when like I have my breaks and things like that, I can do a bit more reading or do a bit more TV watching. Either one, it also means I'll probably still wake up at like the time I do my regular commute, but then read or watch. Stranger Things before I log in instead. 
but speaking of reading i am like i said moving on to crescent city but i am also in the mood to read something before i go to sleep so i've just started the audiobook of legends and lattes this is one that we don't tell lisa um no we do tell lisa i will tell her probably in the morning when i finished it because the audiobook is six hours total and that's like not sped up and i listen to things fairly sped up so I think I should be able to finish this like by tomorrow afternoon, which is good because then I can move on to Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood. The blood I always forget. Here it is. Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood tomorrow evening. So yeah, that is pretty much the plan. I have only listened to one chapter so far of Legend and Letters, so I have absolutely no opinions. I will give you them in next week's vlog. But that is a wrap up for this week. It's been a bit of a slower week. I was definitely in a slump. I didn't really read much of anything until today, pretty much. Well, yesterday a little bit, but today mainly. But then today I finished two books and started another one. So we're doing okay. Like, I feel a little bit better about finishing my TBR now. Because once I've finished Legends and Lattes, I'll have read two books out of it. And then Reserve Got Crescent's here. And then I've got three contemporaries and one more fantasy. So at least the bulk of it is contemporaries and one of them's a reread so fingers crossed i'll actually be able to do it but we will see that is everything for this vlog though thank you guys for watching please like comment subscribe all that good stuff down below and i will see you guys next time with a new video bye